For years, marketing automation has been out of reach for the average small business. This powerful marketing tool has been reserved for only the largest mega companies willing to spend tens of thousands of dollars per month. Until now. Thanks to some amazing new software, the power of marketing and sales automation is within reach for most businesses. But because it's been used by only the largest sales forces, most local businesses don't realize what they're missing. Hey, I'm Neil with Email Splat, and in this video, I'm going to share with you three concrete examples of how you can use marketing automation in your local business. Now, if I do this right, by the end of this video, you're going to see why I'm so excited about the future of marketing for businesses all across America. Now, we're not going to waste any time. Let's dive right in to concrete example number one. Many business owners I meet try to tell me email marketing is dead. To which I say, no way. I don't have time to get into all the stats and figures today, but rest assured, email is still very much alive. What is dead is the one-size-fits-all email newsletter. You know why? Because the average inbox looks like this. Your client or prospect doesn't have time to waste reading a general letter newsletter that doesn't apply to their specific situation. I have a pretty lengthy presentation I give on the client river, but long story short, there are four basic areas your clients and prospects fall into. Picture your prospect and customer life cycle as a river. Let's look at the four areas of the river leading up to and through the sale. Area number one is thinking about it long term. Depending on your industry, these prospects might be days, weeks, or years from making a buying decision. Area two, thinking about it short term. These prospects are ready to buy, but they're not sure exactly what they're buying or who they're buying from. Current client. Again, depending on your industry, this may be a five minute process or a five year process. Past client, self-explanatory. The problem with most newsletters is they treat all of these people the same. They are not the same. They have very different needs. And this is where a good automation platform rocks. With automation, I can segment my customers and prospects based on their actions. Think about that, on their actions. So let's say I send out a general introductory email to a new prospect, Mrs. Jones, about my remodeling company. It has links to three photo galleries, one for kitchens, one for bathrooms, and one for basements. If Mrs. Jones clicked on the link for basements, now I can add her to my follow-up marketing sequence about basements, not kitchens, not bathrooms. I would be speaking directly to her specific situation. No more boring emails. Once Mrs. Jones buys a basement for me, I can take her off my prospect list and add her to my client list. From there, I can send her automatic emails about what to expect during her project, who her project manager will be, and how to reach someone if there is an emergency. All automatically. From the time Mrs. Jones becomes a prospect until I finish her project, I'll always be one step ahead of her. She'll think I'm reading her mind. All because I'm targeting my communication to her specifically. Yet, it's scalable. So I could be doing the same thing for 158 other clients all at the same time. If you're like most business owners I know, you live for the big picture. You'd much rather talk about five years from today than what's going on next week. And details, forget them. Again, automation to the rescue. Using our previous example, my system could alert my assistant to mail Mrs. Jones a sales warming kit. She would get a great packet of information all about basements before my first meeting with her. Mrs. Jones is impressed. We could also have the system alert my assistant to call Mrs. Jones the day before our appointment so she doesn't forget about our meeting. How many times have you had a client miss an appointment? Or worse yet, have you missed an appointment? Oh yeah. Once I've had that first meeting with Mrs. Jones, we could add her to a follow-up sequence to gently nudge her to make a decision. People are busy, and so are you, so finding the time to keep track of which leads are still open is hard. The system could even remind me to call Mrs. Jones next week if we hadn't heard from her. Now as cool as reminders are, tasks are even cooler. What if the reminder email to me had all the possible outcomes listed? 
That way, when I got off the phone, I could click one button and alter what happens next with Mrs. Jones. For instance, let's say she didn't answer. I might get an email tomorrow telling me to call her again. Or she might tell me she would never buy a basement from me. In that case, her record would change and she could, would be added to my lost project follow-up emails. Believe it or not, I've gotten referrals from people who didn't hire me. But they need to be reminded I exist. But what if Mrs. Jones said she was buying my basement? With one click, I could start the setup of her project. Emails could go to my assistant, to my project manager, to my suppliers. With one tap, they would all know we had the Jones project and what they needed to do next to get started. See, the dirty little secret is that marketing automation just isn't about marketing. With the right software, you can automate just about anything in your business, saving you time and helping you keep the train on the rails. How many anniversary-based events happen in your business? Almost all businesses have them, and they're hard to keep track of. When I owned a remodeling company, we used to call all our past clients as their warranty period was about to expire. My assistant had to track on a calendar and then remember to let me know so I could call. If they had a warranty item, it was months before we got it fixed. It just always fell through the cracks, you know, it wasn't a priority. Automation can easily remind you about anniversaries. Better yet, it can do something about it without you ever even knowing. If I had had an automated system back in my remodeling days, it could have sent an email to my past client without me needing to get involved. If they had warranty work, we could have set up tasks to keep us on track with their repairs. Things would have been much smoother. Do you like to see your clients every year? Automatically send out a notice to schedule an appointment based on last year's date. Anniversary-based events are also great if you clean carpets, service AC units, vaccinate dogs, service cars, or do tax returns. My favorite use for this is client re-engagement campaigns. If it's been a while since you've seen a client and you sell a recurring product, send them an enticing offer to get them back. The best part is you don't have to manually dig through your records. Your automated system will know and do it for you. There you have it. Three concrete examples of how you can use automated marketing in your business. These three examples will help you impress your clients, increase your sales, and make more time for yourself. Heck, if you could just stop living from fire to fire. Life is just too short. Now these three are just the beginning. There is so much more you can do with automated marketing. If you want to know more about what an automated marketing system could do for your business, check out my favorite system, Entreport. You can find it at emailsplat.com forward slash Entreport. If you have any questions about how you can use Entreport for your local service business, I'm a certified Entreport consultant. You can find me at emailsplat.com forward slash contact. To your automatic success.